Hi, it's Brandy with Eternal Harvest. I've been getting a lot of questions about how I do my barnwood style technique. I'll show you how. So I thought I'd go over a little tutorial today and walk you through the steps. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure you have two base stains. I went with Jocko Bean and Classic Gray Minwax stains today. And then you want just a really cheap one of these throwaway brushes and maybe a wipe down cloth. I use some gloves, but that's totally up to you. So you want to start with the lighter of the two stains and going in the direction of the grain, start randomly making marks that look kind of like slats of wood. Now with the darker of the two stains, you want to fill in the gaps where the lighter stain missed to kind of replicate the look of planked barn wood or weathered barn wood. You can kind of see how I'm doing that here. Here I am starting with the lighter again and then I'll fill in with the dark. And as I fill in with the dark, I'm then wiping it down, rubbing it in to blend the two lighter and darker stains together. And it really creates this dimensional look of barnwood. Okay, once your base stain is done, you've picked those colors, you've got your farmhouse style, you wanna pick out a white and a color that you're gonna dry brush on to make that farmhouse look. My client requested turquoise and white and you water that down. I'm gonna show you, look how watery that is. It needs to be really watered down. And you just barely get some on your brush and you are gonna lightly stroke across. The first one I usually wipe down, rub in. And you're just gonna keep working that across the top. Very lightly. I'm barely touching the wood here. Now I usually do the color first before I do the white. The white should be the last because you want your color to be a little more subtle and the white pops a little more usually. And there you have it, the barn wood finish style. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Let me know if you have any questions, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.